From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. All right, folks, here we go. Route 322, Channel Lock Camp, Conneaut Lake, and, uh, you know, the traffic navigating the wet roads with the wipers on, a few festive trees around. And uh, just a beautiful shot on a dank night, but hey, it is mild out there. And speaking of the cloudy gray days of November, Chris in rural Warren County says, yeah, this is about sums it up. <laughs> kind of a misty, dank situation there. So let's uh, go right to the clouds. They're socked in for now. But as I told you before the break, there is improvement as you go to the weekend. So we've got radar on Storm Tracker and one swath of rain moving through right now. We'll spin it back to the west. I'll back up. You can see that's going to move through a few renegade showers in its wake. Then another cluster out here in Indiana with some heavier rain for later tonight. We may even get a rumble of thunder after midnight and before dawn. So we've gotten to 52 so far and that may go up later on, 44. Now again, normal high is 46. So we are some 6 to 10 degrees above normal. A lot of reports around between a uh, tenth of an inch and two tenths of an inch of rain. And uh, if you take a look at what's going on as far as the stats are concerned, we're getting closer to normal for the month and closer to normal for the year. And if you wonder about the rest of the situation, when it's all said and done tomorrow, some places could end up with three quarters, eight tenths of an inch of rain. But you notice what happens is this swings through Saturday and Sunday. The numbers just stop turning over. So that gives you an idea of the improvement, and here's how it goes. Few showers on Thanksgiving Day after the morning rain, early morning rain tapers to a few showers. We're keeping it dry and fairly mild Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you look at temperatures right now, close to 50 from northeast to Harbor Creek to Lake City, dropping into the mid-40s for French Creek and Cory and Edinburgh. Southern Erie and Crawford all in a very close range there, mid to upper 40s, and eastern flank again about the same. So it's cool, but it's milder than normal. It just feels cool because of the rain. So the storm is heading to our west. Note the flow at the jet stream level. Note where the pink is, okay? The jet is pushing everything up to the north and keeping the cold air here in Canada. So if you look at this map, this is where our get, we're getting our temperatures, 50s, and this is the cold air that's just bottled up there. So the rain moves through this evening. You can get some leftover early morning rain Thanksgiving, and then it just tapers to showers after that. And as you go through, now watch the map. A cool front comes through, a little trough comes through, but then at the end of this sequence, all of a sudden, everything starts getting sunny later Saturday and into Sunday. So our forecast for tonight, periods of rain, maybe a rumble of thunder after midnight, but lows 47 to 50 along the lakeshore. Corey and Cambridge and Edinburgh, south of 90 inland, 44 to 48. Remember, normal high is 46. You'll have periods of rain there as well. And into the mountains, Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, and McKean, showers not as cool, 40 to 44. So early rain goes to scattered showers. It's even warmer than uh, today for tomorrow, 52 to 56. Tomorrow night, tranquil, 38 to 45. Black Friday, mostly cloudy, 52. Clouds breaking for sun for deer hunters, 47. Warmer and mostly sunny Sunday, 55. Rain on Monday, transitioning to some wet snow Tuesday into Wednesday. Check out that 7A, the radars and the weather cameras on the weather page at yourerie.com. That is weather for now. Sean and Jill.